what I have. I have now got the bolt uh, tightened over here. There's one washer uh, spacing in there. I've got this side uh, in position and clamped completely down as tight as I can clamp it. Right now I have the um, laser in uh, position here, uh, pointing back at the target and I've moved it to adjust it into the, into the slot on the target. Now let's look at the hood bearing. And what you have here is this uh, moves freely uh, and I don't have any problem with it, but also I really don't have a gap here The transmission has been um, rough installed and now I have it back out of the frame and I've got it on a little bench stand here that I can work on it. Um, and what I'll be doing here is really just some cleanup um, to get it prepped for a primer coat of epoxy and then um, go ahead and spray paint it the color which uh, when mine is done the color will resemble what you see now I'm not really trying to embellish the transmission color uh, but in the end I think it'll be very nice and uh, all of the plumbing will be shined up and looking good so once this goes in for a final install um, it will be very pleasant and I'll probably paint it um, up the shaft they talk about um, up to about the point where this um, hood bracket bearing sits in here and uh, so this from say from here up won't be won't be painted um, and so that's it we'll see what it looks like when I get done so here's the transmission I've kind of got it masked off in the areas that need to be and um, also have already applied two coats that were dried and set up on the gray epoxy primer. I started uh, taking care of painting the transmission and went out and selected a, a product that I thought would work. Um, it, uh, I looked for references from other helicycle builders and, and really I don't think there's any one specific way people are doing this. So I did get um, a primer. Uh, this is an epoxy type of substance that is um, heat resistant. And um, so once that, it's easy to work with, that was real key. So it's heat resistant, they say, up to 550 degrees Fahrenheit. And um, so I'm okay with that. The uh, engine enamel, the, the paint that goes over it, again, it's heat resistant. Uh, so these two products work together to form a really tight uh, coating on the transmission. Uh, when this thing dries, I will um, put another coat of the, um, of the paint on it and then kind of let it sit for a few days. I'm not going to do anything to it. I'm just going to let it harden up, dry up really good and tight, and then see what I got. And if I need to do something different or something more, um, I'll do it at that time. So just a work in progress.